Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel and to another Rogue discussion video. Today we're going to be having a little bit of a chat about some of the things I want to see uh, in future updates in the games. I'm going to avoid things like leaked skins and things from the battle pass just because I want to focus on content that they could add to the game that may be really useful at elevating Rogue Company just to that next level. The support recently has been phenomenal, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. But for now, let's get into it. When it comes to really big things such as custom games and ranked games, I don't want to touch on them too much in this video. I have talked about them in another video that I'll link down in the description for you. But I really am excited for when those modes come out. I think they're going to be a fantastic addition and I know I'll be playing ranked and doing a ranked series here on the channel. One thing I am really keen to see Rogue Company do is add a few more game modes. Now, I was thinking about this, and whilst I would love them to have a permanent Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, uh, Team Deathmatch, or Domination, I don't think that would be in the best interest of the game. The game is very demolition-focused, and that needs to be their priority game mode in terms of competitive play, competition, and what they're mainly going for. What they can, what they should probably do, however, is make some sort of rotating game mode every week that adds in one of these new ones. I think these tactical game modes that add a bit of competitive feel without being too silly are a really good addition to the game, like Extraction. I think that should just be rolling on. Maybe make one of them permanent so that you have Demolition, Strikeout, and one other as a permanent game mode, and then some sort of rotating mode. They should also be looking to do some really fun game modes at some point uh, in a rotating uh, sort of format as well, such as melee weapons only, or instant cooldown, or really reduced cooldown abilities. Something like that could be really fun, and I'd like to see them do that. Variety in terms of game modes is never going to be bad as long as they find the balance not to outshine the demolition modes. This does then kind of bring on to something I'm interested in, and that is a battle royale. Now, I know that there has been um, some sort of parachute uh, leaks and they've found in the files, but um, I did see that uh, in some sort of interview with Scott that they did talk about this was just in testing where they thought they might be able to make it work and they didn't really find a place for it. I do think some sort of BR would be really cool. Um, I don't know how they would implement it well. In my head, the way it would work is you go in with your rogue. Um, all the different weapons that are available to the different rogues will be scattered on the ground as floor loot and you pick them up. Then you can go to certain locations to buy upgrades for them or you can find pieces that help you upgrade them. Uh, and then maybe you can buy your ability or buy any ability for any rogue. That could also be really cool. Um, and then basically the rogue you choose is more of a cosmetic option rather than anything else. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with the abilities. That could be cool. Um, maybe you unlock your passive, something like that. I don't know. I do think a BR would be really cool. I think they could figure out a way to do it really effectively. Um, it just is whether they want to put their eggs in that basket at the moment. Um, obviously, BR is really popular, um, but we'll see how that goes. I would love to know your thoughts on a potential battle royale out of Rogue Company, what you think they should add, or what you think might be really cool uh, to see in it. So do drop them in the comments below. I'll be reading every single one. The next thing I want to talk about is progression within the game. In the 2020 roadmap, they did talk about progression, for example, uh, different operator, different uh, rogue progressions, also different gadget progressions and weapon progressions, things like that. And whilst I think that's really cool, and obviously you'll have the battle pass to then earn skins and stuff, and whilst I think those cosmetic things are really cool, and maybe some levels for your weapons will be a really nice addition, I would like to see even more. Um, so potentially something to do with the levels, maybe even a prestige system in some fashion where you get to level 100, then you become a level 1, 2 rogue, then you get to level 100 again, you become a level 3 prestige rogue or something like that, up to 10, and then you have infinite progression or something like that. I think the thing that upset me most about COD this year was the lack of progression and the constant resetting every single season. Um, and I just thought that didn't work, honestly. Um, the thing I like most, I think a lot of gamers like most, is the grind and grinding out levels, grinding out progressions, grinding out emblems and tiers and different cosmetics sometimes can be really fun. Um, I just want to see them put a lot of emphasis on that for the rogue community. At the moment, I'm level 50, I think, and I don't feel like it's worth it. Obviously, the game is really early days, so it doesn't matter too much. I am sure they will add stuff in the future but I want to see that level system be worth something. Now, whilst those are some really big things that they can add uh, and I think will be really useful for within the game, there are some things uh, that I think they should add that are just a little bit more silly, a little bit more uh, quality of life changes um, or just things that make the game a bit more enjoyable to actually play. Obviously, cosmetics comes into all of that. Um, I'm looking forward to the battle pass and things like that, but I don't really want to touch on that. What I do want to talk about is something I've been chatting with my friends about and I've uh, messaged some people in the comments about, and that is the idea of implementing executions. If you've played COD Warzone, you know that if you go up behind someone and hold the melee button, and you go into an animation with your character uh, and do a really cool, unique execution um, for that different character. 
that would be something really cool in Rogue to see. Um, maybe not meleeing someone from behind. Maybe they could do it Apex style. So if an enemy is downed, you can initiate an execution while they're on the ground. Um, I think that would be really cool. Just a little bit of way of BMing. Better than teabagging, isn't it? Um, it's just fun. It adds another element to the game. Uh, also puts you at risk because while you're in the animation, you can then get snuck up on. Um, it just adds that, that extra fun factor. And as a content creator, having fun things to do in the game is always great. Uh, it's fun swatting out um, for whenever I'm playing, but also adding in these little elements that just make it a bit more enjoyable. A few fun specific things can go a long way. No matter what though, what I really like is that Rogue Company and the main developer Scott is always looking for these ideas. They're always looking for feedback. Just yesterday on Twitter, Scott posted a tweet saying what kind of abilities or weapons or anything would you like to see out of new characters? And I think that those sort of questions, those sort of prompting and the way they take on feedback has been really, really good. If they keep that up, they're kind of changing the way that developers interact with their community uh, to develop the game. And I think they're just doing a fantastic job. Make sure you do follow um, all the Rogue News channels and things on Twitter um, to stay up to date with the latest news and stay up to date with the developers and what they're up to. That's all from me guys, but I really wanna see your ideas about what could be added in the comments below. As I said, this is a discussion video, so do make sure you're getting involved. And if you wanna be even more involved in the community, I've just launched a Discord server where you can join, come chat, come play some games. If that is of interest to you, make sure you go down to the description because the link is now there. I want to thank you for watching. If you did like the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on twitch.tv slash radbargaming to see live game commentaries. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, be loyal, be brave, be relentless, and I'll see you in the next video.